Hi guys, it's Talia. Um, today is Wednesday, November the 4th. Sorry, I had to think on that. Um, today is just average video. Sorry. Um, just wanted to pop on here. I know it's not my usual day, but in all fairness, I'm off this whole week. So. Um, I could post video anytime I want. Just the way it is. Um, probably means I won't be posting a video next week because I'm not taking any days off next week. Um, because I'm taking so much time off this week. Um, today I just wanted to give you guys a little update on, um, my whips and any new haul stash acquisitions that I got um, and all that good stuff so for start I'm gonna do a little different this time um, this time I'm going to start out with the um, new stuff that I've gotten this week um, and go from there and hopefully you'll see why because some of my new things have now become part of my whips. Um, first off, I got from Listia, um, I haven't really got much from Listia, I just got some basic stuff, um, just a couple of 14 count natives. Um, they say off-white, but they're actually kind of beige, um, which is not off white it's beige don't know when I'll use those don't have any plans for them yet but you never know you can always use Ada for something um then I got um I had placed an order on Etsy a couple of weeks ago um for some patterns and two of them actually got a couple of soda stitch patterns um and I don't know why I got them from a, a seller called Genie's Cross Stitch, I believe. Um, yeah, Genie's Cross Stitch, and they—they're an authorized seller of Soda Stitch, and there was no option to download them. Only sending them in the mail from South Korea. So those came in the mail last week, and I got. Um, the Owl's Christmas. I have to make sure you can see them. Sorry. And, um, just a huge pattern. Yeah. Um, the whole thing pulls out and it's the pattern. Uh, try not to do this here. And it does have the different options on the back. Just a big pull out leaflet. Um, and then the next one was Ice Cream Ladies. I thought these were super cute. I just did. It's the Ice Cream Ladies. Um, and I kind of like how they did them individually down here. On like little individual, um, I don't know what you call them, plates. Not plates, but uh, yeah. You know what I mean, Pla the blue plastic things that you just display. Um, so yeah, those came in the mail, and I will, why is my nose so itchy today? I don't know. Um, and I'll, I'll insert, um, the pictures of the other patterns that I got. I think I got other patterns. I don't remember. See, that's what that, I don't remember what I get. Um. If there are other patterns, I'll put them in here somewhere. Um, then I got, uh, a couple weeks ago, I also placed an order with, um, Hennai Fabrics by Stephanie for a couple pieces, and um, one for the, um, my neck, my back pattern, and the other one for the, uh, slip knot um 
group pattern that I got. Um, these, are the, which are both going to be Christmas presents. Um, those. I got this one. So, let me open it. Twinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Um, this is um, Hocus Pocus in a 28 count Lugana. It's beautiful fabric. Very purpley. And, and I hate I hate these videos because they never show what the true colors are and it sucks. I'm trying to figure out a way to show you this. It's it's darker than it's showing up. It just it just mm, it just makes me so mad. It's it's a little darker than it's showing up. But yeah. Um very pretty. Um very pretty purple. Well, if I'm gonna be using it to cross stitch a rock band on, it's not pretty. It's awesome. So um that's gonna be for my son's Christmas. Like I said, it's a Slipknot, which is his favorite band in the whole world. Um, I got a, uh, a pattern off of Etsy for a Slipknot. Um, like the little pixel people. Um, so that's going to be his Christmas present. Um, twinkle, twinkle. And then this one. This one is a it's another 28 count Lugana. It's opal, opal Lugana in fancy flamingo. Three, lots of sparkle there. It helps that I'm there's a window right there. Uh, yep. Um, a very um, not Barbie pink, um, but it is kind of a, a darker pink. Yeah, maybe. But, I'm going to open this up and you're going to notice it's smaller than the other piece. Yeah. That's because it's already been cut. Um, I only needed half of, I only needed half of the piece. Um, which, I only need half of the purple piece as well. Um, but I haven't cut it yet. Which, I'm going to cut it. Don't worry, I'm going to cut it. So, as far as haul, that's really it. Um, not much. Um, I right now um, I don't really have the money to just be buying extra stuff um, for just for the sheer purpose of buying. So I'm, I'm just limiting myself to getting only what I need, um, even if that means I desperately need a eight by eight Q snap. That I have in my cart on one, two, three stitch, but I'm not getting it because it's not a necessity. Um, these are necessities. Um, whips. I will show you my whips. I have a finish. I finally have a finish. I have. Where did it go? Lost it already. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dennis bag. Um, I was desperately. I, I I knew I was getting close to finish, and I desperately wanted to finish this, to just to mark it out. Mark it as done, and I did. I I was hoping I could get it done Sunday night, but it didn't happen. So I took it to my boyfriend's house when I was doing, well I took my sewing bag to my boyfriend's house when I was doing laundry and I finished it. It only took me about an hour or so. Yes, I'm slow. But here it is. This is the Lizzie Kate ABCs of Parenting. Um, might get a better view of it. It's the ABCs of parenting. Um, 
and I like it. I really like it. Um, I never did go back and fix that mistake. Doesn't need it. Can you tell? I can't tell. You'll have to go back and look at my video to see where it is. My last video. I like it. Um, this was a really fun piece. Um, and in case you can't remember, it's done on 28 Lugana in Sprite from Picture This Plus. This is really soft fabric. Um, and the one that I ordered from a handmade fabric by Stephanie, the purple one is a little bit rougher, and then the pink one is a little bit more rough. So, and I, I don't know about even weight. I don't know if the dyeing um, kind of affects the dye getting into the holes, but it's it's not really even weight. Um, but it's okay. I'm, I'm making do. Um, yeah. 28, 28 Lugana and Sprite. Picture this plus that I just got from 123 Stitch. Um, and my boyfriend, I was shocked the other night when my boyfriend, I showed it to him and he says, you should sign it. Like, well, I was wanting to, but I haven't gotten my signature worked out yet. I haven't, like, charted my signature, which is something I need to do before I get this, uh, ready to be framed. Um, so, hopefully I'll be working on that. Um, then we have Dale Earnhardt piece. Um, I, Dale Earnhardt, um, is, it's stuck in, dig, the pattern is stuck in digital land. So, I'm having to use the PDF reader to open it up and use it, and I didn't feel like trying to look at it on my phone. <clears throat> um, I didn't really feel like trying to, to do all the little, um, confetti pieces and, and whatnot around the eight. Um, I'm trying to look at those on my phone. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and so, when I opened it up, I'm just, all I'm doing is the eight. I decided to go ahead and start filling in the red of the eight. And again, Keep in mind, this is only the first page, um, so bear with me. This is going to be a lot of red. And it's, it actually, from here, it is starting to look better. It's starting to look like a pattern now. It's, it's starting to look like a picture. Um, so yeah, but from my perspective, it still looks like a bunch of red, a bunch of floss. So yeah. And then I have my Dean needle minder. So that's it. Um, and if you want to know where I got the pattern from, it's um, just shoot me a message, and I'll be happy to share with you where I got the pattern from. Um, just kind of an off selling site. Um, different things. Um. Pokemon, I haven't really gotten much done on Pokemon. I'll, I'll show them to you. Just give me a second. Okay. I'm never prepared. You should know that by now. Um. Okay. Let's not too freak out. Pokemon, like I said, I didn't get really much done. I just, I managed to get a few more of the, a few more of the, um, checkerboard squares done. Um, I'll put in a picture of 
really a screenshot of where I was last time, last video. Um, so you can see where I was at. Um, and then here is where I'm at now. Couldn't tell you exactly where I'm at. I couldn't tell you exactly which squares I did. I'll have to go back and look at it myself. But it's some of these squares. Down here. Yeah. Obviously. Um, just filled in a couple more of the gray ones. Um, I think I did a yellow one. don't remember. Um, but that's all I've got done on him. Um, that's where he's coming along. It's nothing done down here. Um, like I said, just a couple more of the, the checkerboard done. And to give you guys an idea, there is nothing else. He comes out here. Yeah, right right here. This is all checkerboard next to his head. And then there's another little creature that starts right around here. Um and it's the same way. This is this is only half. It's the same way over here. So it's a lot of checkerboard. I should have. I should have thought about this. Probably should have just gone and done the first generation one. But I had to do the one that he liked the most, which was the second generation. I'm sorry. I had to put that back down. Um, new start. I have a new start. Um, I started on the, um, my neck, my back, uh, pattern that I got for my daughter, or that I'm doing for her for Christmas. Um, the original pattern, um, I will, no, I can't show you the original pattern because it is the pattern. Um, but the original pattern is, it's black writing, but it, it's a it's really just a, a rectangular border done in red, green, and light blue. <clears throat> and there's black writing in the middle. I didn't like that. It's being done on pink fabric, so um, I didn't think that would work very well. Plus, I kind of wanted to make it more girly. So, I only, I've only done a couple of the letters so far, so it's not much. And, as you can see, my, this is the aerial needle minder. Oh yeah, I'll show you the needle minders that I got. See, I'm always forgetting. This is the aerial needle minder that I had to order twice because the cat ate the first one. Um, yeah, that's all I've got done so far. Um, this is going to be um, back, and then there's my neck up here, my back. Um, and then my pizza and my snacks. And then there's the border that comes right around it. So, that'll get worked on. I'm really gonna push to get this done because it is kind of simple. Um, and this that I got done last night, this took me about an hour. But, well, yeah, about an hour. Because, I had to divide it up. There's like gold. It's like a tan thread in there. Um, and I'm thinking about go ahead and taking it out because I, I don't know yet. Um, but there's that. Um, so, yeah. But I got it off of Etsy if anybody wants to look it up. Um, it's just, it's a take on the, I guess their name is Kia or Kaya. Um, song my neck my back her song is a little bit dirtier but um <clears throat> this just says my neck my back my pizza and my snacks like i said there's a, a border around it um but what i'm doing it in if i can find the there it is i'm doing it on i'm just I'm, I'm doing it in, the writing I'm doing in DMC 
Um, and then the border is going to be done in these three colors right here. I don't know if you can see them. So I'm hoping that'll look good. But I said the green is not as bright as I wanted it to be, but it's still bright enough. It's um, DMC 704. Um, and the blue, the teal blue is DMC 3845, again with the colors. And then the orange is DMC 970. This is one of the, the, the bobbins that I got from Lystia um, a couple months ago. So, see, we'll see how this turns out because I kind of wanted it to be more bright and fun than what the original one. It was just done on white Ada, I think, um, with the original colors of black and then red and like, almost like a Kelly green and a light blue around the border. And I think this is going to be more fun. So I hope this is going to be more fun. So we'll see. Uh, you might not hear from me next week, but hopefully the week afterward, um, I think I'm going to be taking off again on the 16th. Um, so I'll have an update for you then. Hopefully I'll have a finish or two. Because I still got to go today to... I'm going to try to go today to Hobby Lobby and get the rest of the threads that I need for my sons um, and then I can start on his again his is not very big his I'm only going to be using this size like literally this this piece right here I'm cutting it in half again and this is what it's going to be on like I said, these are small projects these they're not very big um, but I tell you what I can't wait until after Christmas, until I get done with all these, um, until I get them done, framed. So now I have two projects that I need to frame at this very moment. Um, and by the time I get paid next time, and I actually get a chance to go to get them framed, I'm, I'm probably going to have any doing it myself just to save money because I'm going to have so many to frame at one time. Um, my mom's, I might just go ahead and have professionally framed, um, just because it's kind of a, on a weird piece of fabric, um, it, I was kind of hoping to have her this larger frame, but I don't know if it's going to work or not, um, it might have to be on a smaller frame, but like I said, I'm, I might just have that one professionally done, and then the rest of them I'm going to frame myself. These, these aren't even it. The ones that I'm showing you, that's not even it. Um, but everything else is tiny compared to even the ones that I'm working on now. I'm getting the larger ones done first, and then I know that I can complete some of these other ones within a day or two. Um, um, there's a couple of um, necklaces that I want to do, pendants, that are like really small. Um, you can find it on Pinterest. It's basically cross stitching a a design. You can choose a design, or they have one you can use. It's basically cross stitching the design into a little small, like one, <coughs> like one by two, two and a half inch pendant um, locket thing and then putting it onto a necklace. It's, like I said, you can find it on Pinterest. It's, um, I'm gonna, doing, I'm gonna be doing two of those. Um, but like I said, that won't take me very long at all. <coughs> um, and then I still have the bread cover to do for my dad. I still have the bread cover to do for my stepmom. Sorry. I'm, I'm out of it. I haven't been awake very long today. 
um, the I just have it under there. You saw one of the needle minders that I got um, from Minding My Minders. I'm going to stop buying minders now because I don't need any more right now. Um, those came in the mail last week. And I shared them on Facebook. And for some reason my picture was messed up. So here's the other four that I got. Like I said, I had to reorder Ariel. Might as well order a few more. Um, we have the Marilyn. That's always been one of my favorite pictures of her. Is the one with the tutu. We have Marilyn. And then we have the um, a fall leaf. And then... We have the very large blingy quilt. Um, this was one of the ones that was going to be like on this size square. Let's see. But I told her that I wanted this little square blingy thing right here. Makes it into a very much larger miter. And then we have the 13 Ghosts. I'm not big on horror movies, but 13 Ghosts. I love that movie. I think Matthew Lillard is the reason why. Um, but I've already had somebody in my house trying to claim these two. Not happening. Um, and I think they wanted the aerial one too. It was like, uh, no. Sorry. So, yeah. That's what happens, isn't it? We get minders and other people want to claim them even though they don't sew they just want them they like them um but that's pretty much it for all the stuff that i've gotten this week it's not much um i did i did want to do pam reed's little mini tag um you know, basically it's one question of what other crafts do you do? Or, I mean, do you do any other crafts? If so, show us what you do. I do crafts that are, that I found on Pinterest. Um, I have several that are still incomplete. I've been sewing so much lately, especially over the last six months or so. I haven't really done anything else. Um, I mean, I have, I have, like I said, I have several that are like UFOs at this point. Um, oh. I can show you a picture of a couple of them, and I'll, I'll put those in. And um, let me, I'll, I'll go get the other ones. Hold on, just a second. My main other craft is wreaths, tutu wreaths. Um, the one that I have right now, uh, I have one in my daughter's room I can show you, and I have one that I did, my, my very first one. I can post up a picture of that as well if you'd like. Hell, I'll probably do it anyway. Um, but then this one is mine. This one is in kind of a state of limbo right now because it's for myself I'm being very picky about what I want to put on it um, as far as embellishments and this is a wreath I did it is kind of a, a magenta purplish color and a steel gray yep. um, and there's beads which were each individually glued. Um, I purchased the beads in the little long strands at Michael's and I glued each one of these by hand. Each one individually, all the way around. You can see. No. But it's, it's in a constant, right now it's still in a state of being unfinished because I can't even make up my mind what I want to put on it. 
Um, and um, let me put in a couple of the other ones that I've done um, before this. And I've also did, this I've been working on for years, for, since a couple of years ago. I put it down and I've never picked it back up because it's so freaking time consuming. I did one of these, uh, we did this same technique when I was in uh, eighth grade in art class. And I saw it on Pinterest and I'm like, that's what it was. Um, and basically making bowls and whatnot miss this little guy so far this just leads to a whole mess of rope don't worry about that um but yeah just this and some i kind of wish i hadn't used the um the very strandy rough sisal rope i kind of wish i had just used the other the other kind of rope but it is what it is. S O K C S. Socks. Um, <laughs> it's a little running joke in our house. Um, but yeah. There's the rope, and then you take um, yarn, which I'm just using some. Um, I think it's Devanna's. Vanna White yarn that you get at Michael's. And you wrap it. And there's a needle here because you have to join you have to join the rope somehow. So yeah. It's this was originally I was gonna do this as a Christmas gift for my stepmom years ago. But it was taking longer than I had expected it to. So it's just kind of a project that I work on every once in a blue moon. Um, I'll, prob <laughs> I'll probably find a way to end it um, as soon as possible. Like it was originally like it was going to come like out to he out to here or something, but I don't know. I'll have to see. Um, just because I'm I'm basically really tired of working on it. And tired of lugging it around from house to house every time we move. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I've also I've also made it's wire jewelry, um, and I still have a lot of the wire as well <coughs> in the um the tools to use it. Um, it's wire jewelry. Um, but it's done in a style called Viking knit, um, and it's it's a form of of weaving wire. Um, and I made the only thing I've really completed. I made a, a bracelet for my son in the, in the all black, but it started to um, the color started um, flaking off. And before that, I had done one for my not for my daughter, but I had done one and. It was kind of a larger size. It, it it fit perfectly as a an anklet. So I think I might be able to find that picture somewhere. And um, I'll uh, here. This is this is kind of what it looks like. And I made a blanket. Um, a fleece blanket, which I'm thinking about making another one. Um, it's really simple. You know, you can find them in two different ways. Like the, um, the knotted, the ones with the knotted ends, and then there's one with the braided. Um, I, I don't really have room to make those, that's why I haven't made them anymore. But, um, I'm thinking about making another one for myself. Or somebody. I don't know who. Um, unfortunately I didn't take a picture of it. It was a Christmas present a couple years ago for my nephew. 
and it was just, gosh, I can't even remember what colors it was. Maybe blue and yellow, blue on one side and yellow on the other side, I don't remember. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, but yeah, the, um, I, I do this and that that I can find. Um, <coughs> I've also made bath salts in the past. Um, I'm, I'm very all over the place when it comes to crafts. I don't do one particular thing. Um, but I guess wreaths would be my main thing. Um, if I had to say what my other craft was. So, yeah. Wreaths and everything else. Just whatever I could find. Um, but yeah. So, I, I don't want to make this too long. So, and I met, uh, I don't know, it's going on 37 minutes now. So, um, that's it. That's all for today. So, I guess, uh, I will see you guys soon enough. Have a great week. Have a blessed week. Have a great stitchy week. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.